You guys look warm today. Yeah. I'm gonna sit down. Doing a mini day in my life, I guess, as an update. Um, I basically leave the house like once a month. But this month, um, I did go to um, a barbecue place. And we went there during COVID, the first cherry blossoms when COVID was just happening. And it was very beautiful, <laughs> but it's closing down. COVID is, the pandemic took its toll on it and they're shutting down. <sighs> I'm tired. Um, yeah, so I leave once a month <laughs> so I can put money in the ATM. So I've done that. And um, I wanted to do this, like the timing of it. I guess, um, the timing of it, I wanted to miss the uh, school children, just cause, <laughs> but when I left, all the elementary kids were standing out in their little groups, their little packs, um, cause they get, like, you guys live in this area, and um, you guys will meet at this point. And then you walk in there and there's usually like a whole mixture of from first graders to sixth grade. So the sixth graders are um, in charge of getting everyone to school. So uh, yeah, I'm going to head back home. I have some writing to do, but I'll tell you about that when I get home. Ah, ah um, getting close to home. But it's like 8.30 and at this time from where I had to go to this point, just a stream of bikes of the high schoolers. I wanted to avoid them, <laughs> but the bikes, there's just so much anxiety. I mean, that's one reason why I didn't like living in Tokyo because the bikes coming up and the screeching and just my hair, I don't like things coming up behind me. I mean, you know, PTSD, trauma. And, um, also, uh, I wear headphones, but also my hearing is not as good. So, like, people come up behind, behind me and it scares me. And, ah, and, but now when I walk with hubby, he's like, okay, this way. I'm like, okay, thanks, babe. <sighs> almost home. I think because it's 8.30, all the high schoolers should be at school, checking into their home. I gotta say though, I miss being a teacher a little bit. I don't miss the abuse, <laughs> but I miss the interaction with the students and whatnot. So. Okay, you know. catch before I go upstairs because I have work to do today. I am in the office and I got this for lunch. It's strawberry citrus apple pear original taste cider from Mitsuya. Yay but right now enjoying a grande cafe ole. Mm. But I also got little sweets. Um, okay, so update. My book is out. Yay, go buy it if you haven't. Um, I didn't sell anything in October, but one of the reasons for that is because I am not marketing it at the moment. Uh, so what is going on is... Um, I'm working on the Japanese translation of the story and but this is how it's happening um I am going chapter by chapter Google Translate so my sister-in-law is then taking the Google Translate and making it into beautiful Japanese for um novels 
Uh, so, um, apparently she's a reader. And it, honestly, like reading um, some of the translations at the start, I just went, wow, this is great. This is great that it's in Japanese. Um, like, I'm feeling it. I feel what I wrote, and it's in Japanese. Um, also, uh, there's been a few um, interesting moments. Um, there was also confusion in one of the scenes because they were talking about um, a character in the book bleeding. <laughs> and um, someone noticing it, and then Hubby, who's also reading it and giving feedback and whatnot, um, he it's like it's strange though she's acting like they didn't know but sky this other character said something about blood and i'm like what oh sky is british so sky said bloody hell so he was like why is it saying like chi no jigoku or something like that and i'm like okay so British English, it's like, OMG, oh my god, like, it's an, ex oh, okay, so they're changing things for the Japanese version <laughs> like that, but it's been fun, um, Hubby has given me a lot of feedback, which I'm taking in, and which is why I feel like, I like, I don't feel like marketing the book right now, um, I also have a lot going on, uh, I was gonna start Shadow Nightmares, the sequel to um, Moonlight Memories during November and take, uh, taking part of NaNoWriMo, right? Um, but I, I'm only halfway, like 16 chapters out of 30 about that, yeah, um, with Blue 7. And I, I need to get Blue 7 done. I'm releasing it this winter. So I have until March 21st or so when it's still this winter. Um, but uh, Hubby is reading Google Translate of Blue 7 right now because of his feedback. It's great. So we decided he's going to read it um, that way. And give me feedback and then when that's all done and I'm all done with his feedback we're gonna do another round of translation with sister-in-law as I I guess um as I go through beta reading because sister-in-law may take too long but anyways um yeah and he is like three chapters into blue seven and he's loving it and like he says something like, uh, yeah, there's really no feedback like I have for the other, for Mo Moonlight Memories. He's like, the only thing I can say is there's this character, Aya, and, um, she's Seven, the main character's friend. Um, you should probably mention something about her a little earlier, so it's not like, who is that when she appears in like the second chapter or something? Like she's, our, the name at least is already established. Like actually, yeah, got you on that. Yeah, 100%. He's loving it and yeah, I gotta get to work. <laughs> I wanna get things done. Uh, it is 12.45. And hubby gets off work at one. And it'll probably it takes him an hour to get home. So I like to finish what I'm doing when he gets off work. So I have an hour to like do chores. Um, bring in the laundry, clean the litter box is <laughs> the litter boxes. Make sure um all my dishes for the day have been washed and yeah. Um, I don't know if you can see it. It's running away. There is a, um, on the outside there, um, uh, on the window is a, 
wonder what that is. Uh, Kamimushi, also known as a stink bug. Uh, Japan's having a big infiltration of them um, this year. Infestations. That's infiltration. They're trying to take over Japan. No, there's a lot of them this year. And there are times, like, I look at three different windows in, like, a second. Like, this one. The one behind behind like in front of me and there's like bugs on them and one just landed i just watched one that hold on see there you go that one just landed there's one on that window over there <laughs> and let me zoom in what the heck is that I don't know. But there's a lot of them. And yeah, that other thing is also a stink bug. Ugh. I don't know what's going on that there's so many of them this year. Um, So yeah, I finally got a message from my brothers in California about um their Halloween. And I miss Halloween in Japan so much. <laughs> I mean, I miss trick-or-treaters. I miss... um. Like, decorating the whole house up and just having the trick-or-treaters enjoy the decorations and all that. Um, so, yeah, and you'll see what I mean. Here is a couple of clips of my brother's house. That is why I miss Halloween. Like, it's huge in my family, and it's just, I miss it. Okay, I need to get ready for hubby to come home and do my chores. Meow. Okay, I'm about to do laundry and bring it in. Can you see this? He wants to come in. There's another one on the shoe. Seriously, what are with these things this year? ATM Vanilla. Oh, there he is. Hi. Um, it is almost five o'clock. Uh hubby is getting ready for bed. Um we watched a movie after he got home. Uh we watched Japanese title is Halloween Killer. Oh, uh, totally killer uh, Amazon movie with the chick who plays Sabrina in the new Sabrina the Teenage Witch. It was good. I like the uh, Back to the Future feels. But um, when the movie was over, I looked at Amazon, my KDP, because I should be receiving my first royalty payment um for opening sales i guess for um, august it takes a while for the money to come in um and i think he said it was <laughs> there was an error and there is an issue that i've been having because everyone is so um like with security they're so strict that my the name things are in in um like my bank account and whatnot do not match my passport or my id because my id has to match my passport i did change and put my married name on um, my passport now but uh i need to renew my visa and all that before i get a card that has the name on it but because of that, I cannot receive money. 
and like I have money uh, in PayPal because um, one of my beta readers wanted an autographed version of the book and he paid me with um, PayPal and I can't get that money because of this whole name thing so I just came up to the computer while well, hubby got ready for uh, gets ready for bed so I can look on the computer with what's going on there. and I may have to do all this in Japanese because I'm going through the Japanese marketplace <sighs> oh meow I am in the bedroom it looks like a mess it really does but um hubby just went to bed um, I, we did check, uh, the thing, um, payment, there's not a lot of information, like, I can't even look right now what the name on the account says to go, oh, yeah, that's the trouble. <sighs> like, it may even be that, because my first name, there's two bits, and I have the middle name, it may only be because, um, I'm signed up with the pen name, that... It's trying that for the bank, and the bank is like, um, I'm sorry. You got one of three. No, thank you. It's like, if someone wants to give me money, let them, let them give me money. But, um, that's kind of stressful, a little. Uh, I just want to lay back. It's a little warm or humid tonight. But I just want to relax and either listen to a light in the flame that came out uh yesterday halloween um or watch some movie or something i don't know i just want to relax so i'm gonna leave this video here like i always do so until next time ciao Vanilla, that's your brother? Mm,